So if all goes well, by the end of today, this bus will be finally, finally, totally ready to paint. I decided that I have most of a day today and my goal is to get this thing totally ready for paint today. All of the little things that I still need to do, enough is enough, I need to just do them. So, yesterday I took off the rest of the flashers that were still up and I, got, I scraped off a little bit of the goo that was still around and I sanded a bit. So today I need to remove the rest of the goo that's still there. There's a little bit around the windows in some places that I missed. I need to sand all the sections that didn't get sanded when my friends were here and just make sure that everything is, just do a close look and make sure that everything's sanded. I need to choose for sure what colors of paint I'm using. I need to buy my paint. I need to buy my tools. I have to sand the whole roof because I decided to paint it. Oh, I need to make a new one of these thingies. This one that I made the other day. Like, I know my standards are low, but this just looks too crappy. And I need to take all the windows out on the other side. Oh, and I guess take off the trims so that I can get the paneling off on the inside. Ooh, this is getting to be a long list. What else? I think that's it. So it's gonna be a long day, I better get to work. So I've been coming to the realization, obviously this is going slow. I've had this bus for like three months now and nothing has been done, but I've been realizing that I'm basically stuck here in Logan until I either finish this bus or get rid of it. And I'm fine being here for the summer, but I don't think I can do another like fall winter here so I gotta get this done it would be obviously impossible for me to get the whole thing done this summer but there's like some amount of things that have to be done before this can technically be considered an RV I have to have like plumbing and I don't know what all but I'm wondering if maybe I can get that done in the next I don't know six months or so Maybe that's wishful thinking, but either way, I've realized I need to get moving on this and I'm gonna get this done. Or maybe. Okay, I think that was it for the goo on this side. I'm just gonna check it over closely. Moving on. This is going surprisingly well. I have almost de gooed the entire bus at this point. Everywhere. 
Oh, I'm making a huge mess. Definitely doesn't look awesome, but better than the one that was on there before. It's two o'clock. I've got two things out of nine done. I have to be at a birthday party in like three hours and I am losing steam. There's no way I'm getting this done today. <sighs> Had some spaghetti. Now I'm feeling less discouraged. So I'm gonna start sanding now. Just the last few bits and the roof. I bought these sandy thingies, but they're sticky. And this is for like a Velcro kind. So they don't really stick very well. Well, I'm gonna try something. See if this works at all. I was sticking it to this. There's, I have a Velcro thing on here that's the wrong size so I was just sticking it to them and that works better than sticking it to the velcro but I'm gonna see if this works don't want it to get through the holes and get on the actual sander that should be good So gooey. So I read on the internet that I should go over the whole thing once with this coarse sandpaper and then once with a really fine grit. And I was going to, I bought all the sandpaper and everything, but I'm not gonna do it. I might go over really like a really quickly with the fine grit, but I might not even do that. I'm so sick of this. I should have done any of this part. Got to cap off these wires. Can I just use like duct tape? Google said no. Oops. So you might notice that I have these gaping holes right here. I've just decided that I'm going to paint now and worry about them later. And that probably seems totally counterproductive, and it is, but I just decided I didn't know what to do about these. Somebody will help me with them eventually, but I need to get moving. So um, this, as silly as it is, has the potential to bring this whole project to a halt. So I decided I need to just keep moving, and if that creates a little bit of extra work in the long run, oh well. Electrocuted. Okay. I have about a half hour left before I have to get cleaned up, and I still need to sand the entire back side of the bus as well as another the other long side. So things are not looking good for me getting my checklist done today. This thing is heavy. So I just pulled out a brand new sheet of sandpaper 
I've only got a few left and I started sanding and immediately just shredded it. And I was like, you know what? I feel like this was my sign that I am done for the day. So I'm quitting 20 minutes early, having completed about 2.6 of the nine things on my list. But they were the more like big time consuming things for the most part. So I'm hopeful that between tomorrow and Friday, if I can work for at least a couple hours each day, I can still get this done. Some asshole boss were trying to make their house in here. I set all my tools in there and now one of them is guarding the door. just went off for me to go inside and clean up and get ready for work and I still have like a third of the very top section of this side to do and then I have to still sand the whole entire roof but hopefully that part will go fast because there's like I, as far as I know no sticky stuff and no like not so much like bumbly stuff so I will get there I'm about to start day three of my one day project. Yesterday I checked off exactly zero boxes. So I'm gonna really try hard to get this done today because I am busy tomorrow afternoon and I would love to just do nothing in the morning. <laughs> chances that I don't fall off this roof at some point. Probably not great. Getting real sick of this sanding. Why is there even reflective tape on the roof? I just am really wondering if this is that necessary. Hopefully it's not because I'm not passing it. I wasn't even gonna paint the roof. I just, cause the top half of the bus is gonna be white. So I thought I would just paint it the same color that the top half already is. We keep running into problems. Keep running into problems like with getting paint. It is really hard to find the type of paint that's suitable to paint on the outside of this that can also be custom colored. And on top of that, I didn't even know even if I could find the right paint. I have no idea how I'd match this. It's not like I can bring my bus into the Home Depot. So, 
There's not a huge selection in the Rust-Oleum stuff that everybody says to use of color, but they have white, so I figured I'll at least, I'll just do the top half with that, and that means I'm gonna paint the roof as well. And I thought, hey, this won't be a big deal. The roof is just big and flat. And that's been mostly true. I'm mostly just sick of this. And I see a shiny part over there. No. Oops. Oh gosh. Should be wearing gloves. But like I said, I have lost my will to live. So these are my options. They're all almost the same. Hello. Oh. We're doing. I'm trying to decide what color to paint my bus. So I was thinking yeah. maybe that one. But I also feel like these kind of all just look kind of grayish out here. Can you see? Yeah. I have to buy some paint samples. I couldn't decide based on those tiny little things. Of all the things I've painted, I don't think I've ever once actually gotten a sample. But this one's probably worth it, I guess. I'm gonna be glad I did. Ooh, I like that. Ah, I like all of these. I think I'm liking this one. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry and ponder some more. Got a few things left on the list and I probably got maybe two hours of steam left in me. So, there's no way I'm getting this done. Maybe, maybe. The windows are kind of easy to get out, so maybe. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work on that. I am totally out of energy. Couldn't get the windows out, so I started taking the screws out to on the outside and got like two thirds of the way down and then just like, I started stripping them all again. So I think I, I'm too tired and I have to stop. So I'm not getting the windows done today. It's okay, I got a ton done and I can still buy or or, like order some of my supplies and be ready, have that ready to go. So still a win, I think. 